Tony Dow is an American actor, producer, sculptor, and director who is undoubtedly best known for his role as Wally Cleaver on the iconic sitcom Leave it to Beaver. It was a role he held from 1957 to 63. Even though playing Wally throughout the influential show's run introduced the world to Dow, when it came to an end after being on the air for six years, Dow found himself deeply angry and wildly depressed. He wrestled with those feelings for many years, but ultimately these difficult emotions helped shape his life story. Although he has now gotten his emotions under control, in recent years he's opened up about his story. Join Facts First as we take a closer look at the life and career of Tony Dow. Dow didn't know he wanted to be an actor. Tony Dow was born in Hollywood on April 13, 1945. He got into acting by sheer happenstance when he was 11. In an interview he gave to Fox News, Dow recalled how he was a swimmer and the junior diving champion that held a national record by the time he was nine. While training at the Hollywood Athletic Club, he met a lifeguard who happened to be an actor. The lifeguard told Dow's mother he was going on an audition for a TV series in which they were searching for actors to play a father and son duo. And because Tony bore a striking resemblance to him, he figured bringing him along might be the only way he could land the role. So after gaining his mother's consent, Dow donned a blue suit and went to the audition. He had no idea what to expect, but everything about this new and exciting experience intrigued him. Being alongside his friend from the athletic club also put him at ease. Things didn't go as planned. Dow walked out of the audition with the part while his buddy didn't. The show in question was titled Johnny Wildlife, and it would have been the first color program on TV to feature a wildlife photographer alongside his son. While that show never amounted to anything, possibly because it was a bit ahead of its time, another show began development that was called Wally and the Beaver that did get greenlit, although it was later renamed Leave it to Beaver. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already and stick around for more about Tony Dow. Leave it to Beaver was a modest hit. While Leave it to Beaver never managed to crack the Nielsen Top 30 ratings during its original run, primarily due to the fact that it premiered during an era when westerns were the big thing, it has since become known as one of the most iconic and trailblazing shows of its age. In fact, reruns of the series can still be seen in practically every country worldwide. Leave it to Beaver told the wholesome story of the happy, carefree life of Wally Cleaver, played by Dow, his younger brother Theodore Beaver Cleaver, played by Jerry Mathers, and their parents, played by Barbara Billingsley and Hugh Beaumont. After its initial season, Beaver moved from CBS to ABC and remained on that network for its five remaining seasons. Despite the fact that the ratings were never entirely in the show's favor, something magical was happening in the fictional town of Mayfield that ended up standing the test of time. The series creators, Bob Mosher and Joe Connolly, who penned the scripts for the majority of the series' early episodes, based a lot of the humor of the show on their own lives. Both writers had children of their own, and they knew how to take their personal experiences raising a family and translate that into a television show that felt relatable. They ended up telling their stories from a child's point of view instead of from an adult's perspective, such as how previous offerings like Father Knows Best had. Dow told Fox that he can't think of another show, besides perhaps The Wonder Years, that has gone that route. Tony believes that the way Leave it to Beaver told its story through a kid's eyes made the series such a memorable and meaningful experience. Even though the show's ratings weren't the greatest, it was still considered to be a commercial and critical success. But even after the role of Wally put Tony Dow in the spotlight, after the show ended, not many people were still thinking about him. Dow fell into depression after the show. Tony felt extremely frustrated after Leave it to Beaver ended. He didn't want to spend the rest of his life only ever being known as the person who once played Wally Cleaver. He felt he had just started getting his feet wet, but just as quickly as he achieved a bit of fame, it appeared as if his career had already dried up. This is a fairly typical experience, unfortunately, for child stars. Rarely are they able to actually have thriving careers in show business in their adulthood. Some lucky stars like Ron Howard, for example, managed to break this stereotype. But the chances of actually pulling that off are pretty slim. After Beaver, Dow began making guest star appearances on various TV shows and made a handful of film appearances as well. 
In 1977, he parodied his beaver years in a witty courtroom segment in the comedy film Kentucky Fried Movie. At the time, he figured there wasn't any harm in lampooning the character that had launched his career, as he had no plans to reprise the role. But he actually returned to the role of Wally in the 1980s, first for a reunion TV film and later in the reboot series The New Leave It to Beaver. After that series wrapped, Dow started directing episodes of television such as Coach, The New Lassie, Star Trek Deep Space Nine, and Babylon 5. For the latter, he also served as visual effects supervisor. He likewise oversaw the special effects of a Doctor Who television film that appeared on Fox in the 90s. From the moment he chose to appear on Leave it to Beaver, Dow lost much of the control he had over his life and career. By the time he was 12, Tony was being told what he could and couldn't do, be it on the set of Leave it to Beaver or at home by his parents, who doubled as his managers. He felt like he had lost control, and this resulted in a unique form of grief that he had to learn to deal with for years. Even to this day, Dow admits that at age 76, he still struggles with depression. Dow's depression translated into anger. Depression left untreated can lead to anger. The inverse is true as well. For Tony Dow, he learned this the hard way. But by learning about what he was experiencing and seeking help, he was gradually able to heal. One of the major sources of support whom Dow has relied upon has been his wife, Lauren Shulkind. She was the one who showed Tony that goodness still existed in his life. Over the years, Shulkin, who works as an artist, has supported her husband's artistic aspirations. She's also done her best to remind him that being closely associated with his role of Wally isn't always a bad thing. Wally is a character known for being gentle and kind-hearted, two traits that are pretty admirable. Dow has found purpose in life in his later years by sculpting bronze statues. He works on these abstract pieces in a studio space that he shares with his wife. While artistic expression has helped him keep his depression at bay, so has medication and therapy. Dow was hospitalized in 2021. In August of last year, Tony Dow was hospitalized with pneumonia. USA Today reported on August 30th that he was up and walking around and that his doctors believed he would make a full recovery and return home quickly. Fortunately, they were right. After the news broke that he'd been hospitalized, Lauren Shulkin thanked his fans for all their support throughout these trying times while promising she would keep the public updated on Tony's health. For someone in their 70s, pneumonia can sometimes be a death sentence, so it's certainly good to hear Tony was able to recover from it. At the moment, Dow hasn't done much in the way of acting, directing, or producing. The last thing he appeared in as an actor was the 2003 film Dickie Roberts, former child star. In 2019, he was seen promoting Leave it to Beaver and several other classic TV shows on the MeTV television network. Now it's time to hear from you. Were you a fan of the trailblazing, family-friendly sitcom Leave it to Beaver? Let us know in the comment section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.